If you have any one of these calculators, then you want to download these programs. And I found them really helpful whenever I'm tutoring students or I'm checking students' work. And a lot of my students use this whenever they're taking the SAT or the ACT exam. Hey, I'm Miguel, also known as the Vegan Math Guy, and I'm here to help you show you how to download these programs into your TI-84. I'm also going to give you a troubleshoot just in case you're not able to download the programs that I already have on the zip file. I had a student email me about an issue they were having downloading that into their older calculator, and I thought it was really helpful to kind of troubleshoot together. So I'm going to walk you through that. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the veganmathguide.com slash calculator programs. And I'll, again, I'll put that link in the description below. But once you go on that, you're going to go ahead and scroll down and you're going to see some options. You can technically buy a pre-programmed calculator or if you already own one, you can send it to me and I can help you with that. But you want to go ahead and click on the calculator program image and it's going to send you to a cart. You're just going to add that stuff into your uh, cart there. You're going to purchase it. It's free free and you're going to go ahead and check out put in all your info and let's see what happens i'm going to place my order and you should be good to go all right now you can go ahead and download the zip file already from this screen or you can go to your email and find it there all right so we downloaded our programs into our computer and now what you want to do is you want to download the tice software now be very careful. There's one on the left here. That's the TI software. We don't want that. That's a little more sophisticated. We want the one with the TICE software. It's going to be the one with all the calculators. So we have to be very careful with that. I'm going to go ahead and link this website in the description. So you can go ahead and just click on that. And we're going to go ahead and decide, is it going to be a Mac? Is it going to be a Windows? For me, it's going to be a Mac. I'm going to go ahead and download that. And then I'm going to open up. the. All right, so here I am. And I apologize if this sounds a little different. I am now on my AirPods, but I want to go ahead and download it, the TI Connect app. I opened it. And if you notice, it's going to look like a window like this, and it's going to ask you to plug in your calculator. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you notice that the TI-84 calculator already showed up. Now, when I go here on the left, now I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you're going to see a bunch of programs. We don't have to worry about that. On the left side, up on the top, it has a little computer with the arrow. We're going to click on that and it's going to ask us to see which file we want to connect. So you're going to go ahead and find the calculator programs that you've downloaded. I have them here and then you can go ahead and you're going to have to click on these one by one. You can even try to multiple. Well, I guess you can. So you're going to go ahead and highlight them. You're going to go ahead and click open and they're going to download into your calculator. I already have them in mind, so I'm not going to do that. But once you do that, you should be good to go. Now, this is for the students that had issues where they couldn't download the programs into their calculator. I saw a couple of students that emailed me about that. Now, what you can do is you can go ahead and download the Google Doc that I'm going to have in the description below, and it's going to have all the programs and the code underneath it. And unfortunately, what you're going to have to do is just go ahead and highlight each program. I'm going to copy paste. You're going to go to the TI Connect app. And notice on the left over here, we have the camera, the one in the middle. And then here we have like the, you know, the three squares. You're going to have to add your new program. So you're going to go ahead and add program and you're going to have to copy and paste that. Um, you can name it whatever you want. Once you close that, it's going to go straight into your calculator for you. Now that you have the programs downloaded into your calculator, how do you use it? So all you're going to do is you're going to open it, you're going to turn it on, and you're going to press the P, the program button. It's the PGRM. It's almost right in the middle. Um, for the more uh, the newer versions, it's going to be TI Basic. You're going to click on that, and then you're going to see all the programs and what they're called or where you name them. You're going to choose whichever one you want, and it's going to prompt you for either coordinates or maybe they're going to give you the values of, of a quadratic or a complex value. You plug them in, press enter, and you get your That's it. You have unleashed some new programs into your calculator, and hopefully it saves you some time when you're doing homework or, again, when you're taking the SAT and ACT. There's a lot of you know companies out there that will download these for you, but you already have to buy their service for almost thousands of dollars. You can get this for free.
All right. So I hope you enjoy them. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment uh, below. Feel free to subscribe and follow me on Instagram or TikTok. And I'll see you then.